In this series of videos, we are going to be introducing and looking at composite functions. So, here are a pair of functions. f of x is equal to 2x minus 1, and g of x is equal to x squared. So let's go through some of the basics first. We can work out f of 3 very easily, substituting 3 into f of x. So this is 2 lots of 3, take away 1, so that's 5. If I was looking at g of 3, then this would be 3 squared, which is 9. Okay, So very easily, we can write down what f of 3 and g of 3 would be. So what then would be f of g of 3? So we know what g of 3 is, that's 9. So surely that's f of 9. So f of 9 is 2 times 9, take away 1, which is 17. Okay? So that means I can easily substitute in g of 3. So likewise, I could work out what g of f of 3 is. Okay? So g of f of 3, so f of 3, which was 5, goes into g, so that's 25. Okay? I could also work out what f of f of 3 is. So f of 3 was 5, so that's the same as f of 5. So f of 5, 2 5 is 10, take away 1 is 9. I could also work out g of g of 3. So g of 3 was 9, so that's g of 9, and 9 squared is 81. So this is introducing composite functions, because I am putting one function into another. I am making a composition of functions. Now, on the, the notation side, f of g of x can be abbreviated to f g of x. Okay? So the g of x is worked through first, and then the f. So they kind of work like matrices in the way that you work from right to left. So g of f of x is g f of x. Okay? If I want f of f of x, then I could either write that as f f of x, or you could write it as f2 of x. But I don't particularly like that notation because it often confuses students with squaring. And this has got nothing to do with squaring. So g of g of x could be written as g g of x, or g2 of x. Okay? So, little bits of notation there. But the key idea of composite functions is putting one thing into another. Okay? And we're going to continue with this in the next video.